What's up guys, it's Saray Karen, bringing you latest news and reviews in tech and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be uploading in 2018. This year is gonna be so great for this channel and for all of you guys watching along. I hope to do tons of giveaways. I hope to get 100 videos uploaded this year. That is a really big resolution. I'm really not into making resolutions because I'm like, I prefer short term, short term goals, but I am here to make videos and hopefully I can make a hundred. That would be so great. I'm definitely going to be putting up a lot of gaming videos. I hope you guys watch them. A lot of gaming live streams because I like gaming a lot and that's what I want to get back to on my channel is like having fun. Not saying that I didn't have fun last year, but I want to have fun and like switch it up a little bit. Yes, this is a tech channel and of course I'm going to be doing tech, but I do want to do other things like outside of tech, which is mainly gaming. I mean, I hope you guys watch it. If you don't, that's fine too. But for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the new tech that I'm excited about for 2018 upcoming tech. This is more of a tech roundup, like things that I'm looking forward to things that you guys can have on the lookout for tech that you want to get this year, because there's so much stuff coming out. Um, it's kind of, you know, crazy. You could get lost in the shuffle of everything. And I'm most excited for the Apple HomePod. I was so disappointed that last year it didn't come out when it was supposed to. Um, I'm also excited for the Samsung A8. I will, well, well, we will get to that because I'm going to pull up. I have like different tabs for you guys to see like everything that I'm excited about and then everything that you guys can be excited about too for the upcoming year. So like I said, I'm excited for the Apple HomePod. I'm excited for the Samsung A8. I'm excited, of course, for whatever new freaking iPhone that's going to come out. I'm also excited for the new MacBook Pro, possibly. I don't know. So let's get into that. Hey guys, as I was saying, I'm super excited for a bunch of new tech that's going to be coming out this year. I have, what, four tabs open of the things that I'm mainly excited about. So like I said, I'm really excited about the Apple HomePod and I have it here on um, Mac rumors I was really disappointed that it didn't come out last year because I definitely wanted to unbox and I wanted to review it get my hands on it and actually use it because as you guys know I'm an Apple fangirl and I'm not like ashamed about it I really love Apple products so the HomePod what are they saying about it da -da 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 -da. Oh yeah, the HomePod is just going to be Apple's Siri speaker and a lot of people really don't like Siri just because it's Siri's not that good when you think about Google Assistant and you think about the other like smart assistants that are in phones. But they vamped it up with the Apple HomePod and I mean, what does it say? We think we can do a lot more to make this experience much better, just like we did with the portable music. The cool thing about the Apple HomePod is that it is going to work with your Apple Music, and you can ask it, okay, who's the drummer in this band, or you know, who's singing this, or is there any samples in this song? And then it's going to give you all the information in you know real time, just as the Google Home would, or just as Alexa would. Um, the aesthetics of it, I think it's super cute. It really looks like a little mesh, I don't know, spherical oval thing. And it kind of looks similar to the Google Home, like that mesh material. If you guys watched my Google Home um, unboxing and review, then you know what I, I'm talking about. Um, the really cool thing about the Apple HomePod as well is it has spatial awareness, which means that it'll know, like wherever you place it, it will know that you placed it up against a wall. So the sound is going to adapt to that area so you can still get that 360 sound. So that's something that's really cool. Um, hopefully it's going to be coming out soon. They say four to six months. And I, I don't know. I feel like that's a pretty long time, um, especially when they've been making this product and it's probably already made. I don't know what Apple is waiting for, but this is something I'm super excited about. Um, definitely leave a comment below and let me know what you guys are excited about in tech, what you guys are excited to see me unbox. I'm going to be trying to do a lot of different unboxings um, that I didn't do last year. Just, you know, switch it up a little bit. So the design of it, like I said, I think the design is really cute. It, it, it looks like, I don't know, it looks like a Google Home to me. Um, it does have an A8 chip, and that just means that for a speaker, it's going to be the smartest speaker out there on the market. So that's something really cool. I mean, like I said in my Google Home video, getting smart tech in your home that's going to control your whole home, it's just going to be really convenient in the future. And even now, I mean, if you have like smart lights, that you can control it just Okay guys, so moving on to the Samsung A8. I do like Android products. I really love Samsung's line of products and the Google Pixels and things like that. Contrary to popular belief, I do like Android. I'm not just an Apple fangirl when it comes to phone. I'm not super biased toward Apple phones. I like Samsung phones. And 
as I'm looking at this, I'm excited to get the A8 in my hands or the A8 Plus, most likely that one just because I like bigger phones. And this phone is going to be super cool just because it has a, what, 16 megabit. 16 megapixel camera and that was my whole problem with the s8 was that for that price point you were still getting the same camera that was in the s7 a 12 megapixel camera and then aesthetically i love the s8 because it had the infinity screen the fingerprint sensor was on the back which the s7 no, the S7 still had the home button, but the fingerprint sensor was on the back. I just thought that they made the phone look super nice, and I feel like that phone kind of set the tone for 2017. So with this A8, you're still going to get that nice infinity screen with a lower price point. Now here it's showing that the price is going to be around like, what, this is in euros, so $599 to $699, um, or is it $499 to $599? one of those but in usd that probably is going to range around 650 bucks or 550 bucks around there um which is for a mid-range phone i would say that's not completely bad when you think about the note 8 coming in around 900 bucks or the s8 coming around and around 700 bucks so i would say this is a good mid-level phone if you want the specs and you want the good quality of it but you don't want to pay for that high price point that the s8 will have and the note 9 will have so i, I would say that i'm super excited about mid-range phones um it's because it's pushing the bar i mean it's going you're going to be putting all of that power in a 500 to 600 phone and i mean it's going to force other competitors to do the same thing which i think is pretty cool so moving on to the macbook pro which I'm kind of annoyed about, the fact that there might be a MacBook Pro in 2018 when I just bought this MacBook Pro. The biggest differences that I'm seeing on here is that it's going to come probably stock 32 gigs of RAM and my computer is 16 gigs of RAM. So that's going to be super cool for those of you who need a beefy computer and you know it's just like that's the stock price, which is cool. It's also going to be I said the stock price. <laughs> That's like the stock gigs of RAM that it will have. It's also possibly going to have a 4K screen, which is nice. This computer that I have has an ultra retina display, which is, I mean, I feel like it looks nice, but I mean, 4K is the future. I mean, they're already freaking, what, 8K TVs and stuff. So, I mean, for the computer to have a 4K screen, that's going to be super cool as well. My big thing um, about it is what's the price point going to be? Just because, you know, Apple... Their products are super expensive, and like I was saying for my, if you watch my um, unboxing and review of this computer, for what you get, the price is kind of steep. So I'm excited to see, like, not even excited, I know it's going to be expensive. I ready to see what the price point is going to be for that computer and i'm ready to see how the computer is going to look aesthetically um it's not going to differ too much i mean apple will come out with different colors like how they came out with the rose gold and the gold most likely it'll have one of those colorways on it but it's not going to be too different just because Apple really doesn't change much um, in the aesthetic department. So that's something cool to look out for if you guys are excited or if you guys are thinking about getting a new MacBook Pro. I would definitely wait till it releases, wait like a few months after it releases just to see like what the price is, how it operates, um, if you want to you know, spend that amount on an Apple computer. Uh, of course, it's all up to you, but that's going to be something cool to look out for in the future. I'm kind of salty that I just bought this computer and then there might be another one coming out. Um, you know, what can I, what can I do? Uh, that's, that's Apple for you. So the last thing that I'm excited for is something that's really basic. And I, I never really do a review Well, I've never did a review or a unboxing about it. It's a, uh, what is it called? A wireless home charge, like a wireless charger. So I really don't do, uh, I've never did a review on a wireless charger just because I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. You put the device on it and it charges it. Now the Apple air power is cooler just because you can charge multiple devices. Now, you can charge your Apple Watch. You can also charge your iPhone, as long as it's an iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, or iPhone 10. And then you can charge your AirPods. But plot twist, you have to have a different charging case for your AirPods to be able to charge on that um, Apple AirPower. So, of course, Apple's going to make you buy something else so you can charge your AirPods. And, I mean, I feel like this... This tech is pretty cool. Like it looks like a pad, um, not like a pad, pad, but like a like a 
you know, like a little pad that you would sit something on. But I think it's pretty cool because you can charge three devices. Um, in this article, it said that could you charge your MacBook Pro? Like, who even asked those questions? Of course you can't charge your MacBook Pro on that air, what is it, air power, just because, you know, it's not glass. So how would you charge your uh, your MacBook Pro on there? Um what else? You can't charge an air. You can't charge an iPad either because, of course, it has the aluminum back. Like I said, the back needs to be glass for you to be able to charge on it. But I think it's something cool. I've been waiting for the Apple Air Power to come out for a while. That's why I haven't invested any money in like a regular charger because I feel like I have so many Apple products. I would I would like to just be able to charge them all at once. Um, I feel like it's something like. I don't know, something like unnecessary, but of course I want it just because it's Apple. Yes, back to that Apple fangirl status. But that's it for going through the different things that I'm excited for. I made, I only did, what, four things just because I feel like there's so much tech that's going to come out. These are the things that I'm super excited to get in my hands, unbox, and review for you guys. Of course, I'll be doing other reviews and unboxing. But these are the things that I'm looking forward to getting um, and uploading a video for on the channel. Okay, guys, those are all the things that I'm excited to open and unbox and review for you guys. Of course, there's going to be a way more unboxing and reviews, but those are the main things that I'm excited in the new tech of, of 2018 to look out for. Um, this was sort of like a tech roundup. Like, um, maybe I'll do more of these. Let me know if you like this video. Also, let me know in the comments if you got, well, what you guys are excited for in tech for this year. I know I'm excited for, like I said, the HomePod, the Samsung phone, um, the Apple Air Power. Um, um, so many other things to know eight um, new video games coming out like I am so excited I'm also excited for everything that I have planned for this channel I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers and what's up to all of you guys that are already subscribed um, 2017 was such a good year for this channel I never thought that I would have you know 1300 subscribers I hope to grow so much more in this year um, always if you guys want me to review a particular product leave it down in the comments so that I'll know and I can pick it up try it out and review it for you guys before you buy it that's what I'm here for so like I said um, welcome to my channel to all the new subscribers what's up to the old subscribers and I can't wait for everything that I have in store for you guys. So until next time, I will see you guys later.